let's go on an auto trail adventure. Hi, my name's Keely. I'm a buyer here at We Buy Any Motor Caravan, and today I'm going to take you on a quick look around the Auto Trail Adventure 55. So, this is the four berth, four belt. It's got the pop top, as you can see, and then there's a rear lounge as well. I'll take you inside a bit later. It's on the Fiat Ducato chassis, 2.3 litre engine, 140 brake horsepower. So, I'll quickly just run you through the dimensions of the Auto Trail Adventure 55 2.27 metres wide just under six meters long and 2.7 meters high. Let's start with a look around the outside on this Auto Trail adventure. So this one comes in the Expedition Grey, six different colors to choose from when you buy them from new, ranging from black to white with loads of different grays in between. Coming around, obviously it's the 2.3140 brake horsepower. Pop top is out at the moment. Obviously when you travel in, that needs to go back in, kind of a no brainer. Coming down the side, got these really nice decals, which I really like on this model. Um, just make it look a bit different to the V-lines and that kind of thing. Coming down, we have the LPG gas conversion. Great for traveling around Europe, easier to refill it rather than buy new gas bottles all the time. You've got your walk fresh and wastewater drainage taps here at the bottom. Coming around the back, again with the decals up the top, nice little mountain motif on the side. You've got your 16 inch black alloys, which are as standard on here, but the black are extra. Coming around to the back, we have the bike rack. These motorhomes are built for adventure, hence the name, uh, wild camping, that kind of thing. So you've got your bike rack on the back. Also got your reversing camera up the top. Coming around to the side, you've got your water inlet here and the Dometic vents for your heating and cooling. You've also got the awning at the top with your strip LED lights. So when you've got the awning out at night, when you camp in, at least you've got them. Let's take a look inside. So as I said earlier, this has got the rear lounge. So here I am in the rear lounge. Also something great that comes on the Auto Trail Adventures is they all of the models come with the media pack, which includes your TV. So that's something really good. You don't have to add that on. It just comes as standard. Uh, you've, with the upholstery, we've got the half leather half cloth which is nice coming inside got some storage here one thing i would probably would say not an awful lot of storage but for a van conversion i think there is sufficient storage for what you would need obviously the rear lounge is where you get your two extra berths so you've got the two here this makes into the double and you've got the pop top as well so come on through to the kitchen walking through we've got wardrobe here you've got decent sized fridge for saying how that it's a van conversion decent fridge coming through into the kitchen it is quite narrow but like i say that's what you get with a van conversion um here in the kitchen you've got your sink in here you've got your two ring hob which runs off the gas you've got cooker and some good storage in the kitchen so i think there is plenty of storage in the kitchen area for what you would need you are now finding me in the bathroom so you've got your toilet here you've got your shower i think if you are much taller than five seven five eight the shower is probably going to be a little bit of a squeeze it's not really high but again for what you'd need it for it does the job so the auto trail adventure 55 carries 70 liters of fresh water and also 70 liters of wastewater as well which is great again if you're coming in here and you're thinking hold on a minute there isn't a sink there definitely is here we are in the lounge area towards the front of the motorhome so this is where you have your two extra seat belts so like i said earlier it is a four belt nice table which collapses for when you are traveling seats are super comfy probably a little bit tight if you're traveling sort of two teenagers might be a bit tight to sit here but they're really really comfortable you've got the spinning chairs which make the dining area suitable for a family to sit around nice lighting all the way through the motorhome to be fair quite nice everywhere something we didn't mention earlier with the kitchen area you might think there's not an awful lot of worktop space this comes out so that's really handy as well for when you're prepping your dinner next up we are going to go and see the pop top so something unique about the auto trail adventure range is that it's got the pop top come with me okay so now we are up in the extra two berth of the auto trail adventure loads of natural light coming in here which is great 
Also really comfy, also think for a pop top, it's actually quite spacious. Okay, so now we are gonna see how easy or hard it is to get the pop top down. So I am about five foot two. Um, let's see how easy this is to get down. Okay, that actually really surprised me. Thought it was gonna be a lot harder to get down than that. So I could definitely do this on my own. As I said earlier, based on the Fiat Ducato 2.3 litre engine, it is the manual gearbox as well. Nice in the cab area. As I said earlier, it does come with the media pack, which includes your sat nav, your colour reversing camera. Um, nice, lots of cup holders in here, good for a long journey. Again, seats are really, really comfortable. Nice that it's got the detail with the auto trail um, emblazoned on there as well. Hello. Here you find me in the cab. Cab has uh, blinds all the way round, which makes it great for sleeping at night. You're not going to be woken up in the early hours of the morning. If you have liked what you've seen today, like, subscribe, join the conversation, put a comment in the comment section, tell us what you want to see next. So if you want to buy one of these from new, they start from £75,000 and that is basic standard spec. That is on your standard colour, so that's before you've added anything like options, bike rack, anything. Um, honest opinion, I love a van conversion. I think this is great. We did a video on the LDC V60 and I think this just stands head and shoulders above that. For me, I would definitely, um, yeah, I'd definitely be buying one of these. This was the Auto Trail Adventure 55. Until next time, bye.